This is the first of two videos uh, dealing with cost allocation for service departments. For this video, we're going to be using problem 4-26B. Uh, that's on page 244 of our custom textbook. Uh, we have a company, done Company. It manufactures uh, products. Uh, it has a department that forms the components another department that assembles the product and the last one that packages it. Uh, these departments are supported uh, by two service departments, the computer services and the maintenance department. The computer service department takes care of the computers for itself and the four other departments. The maintenance department maintains the factory machinery in the course of its duties, it uses some of those machines to do the maintenance. Uh, the computer service department does not use uh, any of the manufacturing machines. We have projected our annual cost for our departments. Uh, these costs come out of our cost estimation process. Uh, we can use any of those methods we discussed previously uh, to come up with these projected annual costs. Our task here is to allocate the cost of the service departments, the computer services and the maintenance, to our three operating departments. Why does a business do this? Well, they do it for uh, product pricing. A, a business has to recover all of its costs in order to be profitable. Uh, that includes departments that don't directly provide products and services to customers. We're also going to do it for uh, internal evaluations. Uh, all departments of a company, whether they uh, make and sell products or provide services internally, have to be cost efficient. Uh, one of the ways we ensure that is to rule cost reporting. Uh, so a department may just provide internal services uh, but still, we need to control the cost to ensure the company profits. All right, so we're going to be using the f first method, which is the direct method. In the direct method, we are going to ignore activity between the two service departments. So we're not going to allocate any of the computer costs to maintenance, none of the maintenance costs to computers. All of that will go out to our operating departments. So the first thing we need to do is to determine the amount of cost that is going to be allocated. We're going to begin with uh, allocating the computer services. Uh, computer services or IT are based on the number of computers. Well, we're going to ignore the computers that are in our service departments. So we're only going to be using the computers that are in our operating department form the basis of our allocation. So we're going to begin by allocating the 90,000 in computer costs. The, ba the basis is going to be uh, the computers for the forming, assembling, and packaging. So we're going to take those, we're going to sum those up. And those are 45 computers. And we will now take our cost and divide it by our base, the number of computers in the operating department. And our allocation rate for computer services is going to be $2,000 per computer. So let's put that in our worksheet. So our operating departments will be allocated IT costs based on a rate of $2,000 per computer. So the forming department has 14 computers, the assembly has 20, and our packaging has 11. We will now simply take the allocation rate, multiply it by the base just like we would with any two-step allocation process. 
Those are our, our allocations for each of the departments. We sum them up and we know we've got it correct if the total that we've allocated equals the total cost for that department. Now we're going to do the same thing for our maintenance department. We're going to allocate out its cost of $100,000. The basis for this is going to be machine hours, but we are only going to be using the machine hours for our operational departments. So they're going to have a total of 10,000 hours Our allocation rate is going to be our cost divided by our basis, the total number of machine hours, and our rate is $10 per hour. So now we're going to take our allocation rate and apply it in our worksheet. For all the departments, the allocation rate is the same. Next, for the weight, we're going to use the machine hours by each of the departments. And again, our allocated cost is our rate times our base. And again, we know we've got this correct. If we total up the allocated cost, then it equals the amount of cost that we began wanting to allocate. All right, so the final part of this is to take the costs that we've allocated, we're going to make a comparison uh, between the direct method and the step method, which we'll do next. For the direct method for the IT, the forming department is being allocated 28,000, the assembly 40, and the packaging 22, with our maintenance, we'll do our forming, reference our assembly, and then finally our packaging, and then the total allocated cost is the two service departments allocations added together, And when we total that up, we want that to be equal to the cost for the two departments. So we have fully allocated these costs uh, using the direct method. In the direct method, there is no allocation between the service departments. So none of this information is relevant to our allocation processes. The basis will be formed based on the activity of our operating departments. And that's the direct method.